Anyway, so yeah, I do my nails myself at home. They're cheap. Buy the little $2 tips and then I paint them myself. Um, I have a ton of nail polishes, so I go from there. Um, right now I have in my refrigerator baby food, um, applesauce, yogurt, cottage cheese, um, and I think that's it. That's all I got in there that I'm eating. Um, I have oatmeal as well, but that's like a eh, because it fills me up pretty quickly. Um, and right now I'm drinking water. Um, for the past few days I had been drinking Gatorade because it really did help with keeping me up um, on my hydration. I was drinking apple juice before that and they said lighten up on the apple juice because it's too much sugar and that'll cause dumping syndrome as well. Um, you know, I am, that's all I gotta say. I'm tired. The injections have my stomach looking like Freddy Krueger got me. Like, these are the incision sites. Here, here. I have some down here. Um, but, uh, uh, like, this is one of my bruises all the way around. And then I got one over here. Ow. It's right there. So, I mean, oh, it hurts. So, anybody that doesn't know, pre-surgery, I was, or my surgery weight was 404. My highest was 420. Uh, surgery weight was 404. Um, I don't know what I am now, but I will find out in the next few days and put it up here and let you guys know. My appointment to go back to my surgeon isn't until December 20th. Um, I had a no opiate recover surgery. Um, so they sent me home the next day on Tylenol, um, which has been a struggle. So I take my multivitamins, my Tylenol, my blood thinner injections, and, um, my Pepsid every day, twice a day, my Gabapentin every day, three times a day, and my Xanax at night so I can go to sleep. Or it helps during dumping syndrome because it helps me go to sleep instead of feeling the pain, which sometimes people need to do that instead of just dealing with it. It's just your heart races, you know, you start to feel flush, you get cramping, you get dizzy, and it's sometimes it's too much for somebody. 